The rule does not, as many objectors have contend, substitute this court for the legislature. It simply provides that an action challenging existing maps, which we are almost certain will be unconstitutional as soon as the census numbers are released, can be begun in this court or in any state court for that matter at the same time as it can be brought in federal court under the rule in Arrington. Now, we fully expect that this court would stay its proceedings in an effort to allow the governor and the state legislature to act. Respectfully, there is no evidence that the federal district courts in Wisconsin are going to rush to accept a case about mapping before there is an actual case and controversy. This court shouldn't either. Nor is any federal district court going to ignore the applicable law on the issue, both state and federal. If a federal court acted prematurely or inappropriately, petitioners could then protect their interests through the motions before the federal court. The court, this court should deny the petition because it seeks to use this court as a political tool and have it jump into the process prematurely before there's any case or controversy about an actual dispute. The petition also asks the appellate court to act as a trial court, hearing evidence rather than as a reviewing court. 